This is a tutorial on using the program coaching log. When you first open up this spreadsheet, the first tab that you'll be on is the instructions tab. You'll see you have a couple of other tabs at the bottom. You have data entry, program summary, and the coach summary. The instruction tab has the link for this tutorial, as well as some instructions on data entry. It also has my email in case you have any questions or run into any issues. The data entry tab is where you're going to be entering all of your data from uh, your coaching activities. First thing you'll enter is your coach ID and then each row is for one activity. So you'll first enter the date followed by the program ID. You'll use the drop down to select your focus and your focus will be your primary focus of the activity. Then you'll select your delivery method and then you'll put in the time in minutes. Please be sure that you're only typing in numbers, that you're not typing in text and that you're not doing um, hours um, but only minutes. Then select your activity and then write in any notes if applicable. If you went multiple times or if you had different activities that same day, then you want to make sure that you have one row per activity. If you did um, more than one activity with the same focus, then you want to make sure you also document one row per activity. Um, so here you'll see that on the 26th, there was a virtual meeting with the behavior specialists and the activities were assisting in data interpretation and assisting in preparation for a meeting. So you'll see that um, each activity is listed on a separate line as well as the time for that activity. If you make a mistake and you need to delete, you'll just click on the cell that you're in and on your keyboard you'll hit delete. So let's say I, I put this uh, record in error, I would just go in and I would just um, click hit delete on my keyboard to delete that record. If you select other as your activity type then you might uh, write in your notes so it says other please describe in notes column so then in your notes you might go ahead and write the description of what that activity is and so that's totally up to you it's not necessary but you can do that if you if you decide. So after you've entered your data, then you're ready to look at it. So the program summary um, is intended for you to look at your data program by program. So it'll first start off by showing you data across all of your programs. Um, and so you have these filters here on the left hand side that you can use just to look at um, each program separately. But before you start doing that, you'll want to refresh your data. So every time you enter data, you want to make sure that you refresh. And the way that you do this is you go to this first table, just click where it says Program ID. A new tab will appear where it says Pivot Table Tools. Go to Analyze, Refresh, Refresh All. Alternatively, you can just go to Data, Refresh, Refresh All. So once you've refreshed your data after you've done data entry, now you can look at each of your programs. So to select a program, you just click on the button for that program. So that's A, and then all of the tables and all of the graphs will update for only that program. So for program A, you have coaching by program ID. You'll see time in minutes and the total number of contacts, and then the program ID, uh, the focus. So then you'll have the different focus here. For, um, across all of your visits, the percent of total contacts, and the time in minutes. Delivery method, set up the same way, and the activity. And so the activity, because there are um, multiple activities, it'll be a little bit longer than the others. Uh, please be sure to pay attention to your max 
axis. So that might uh, not always be the same across all of your um, graphs. You can also look at data by the focus or delivery methods. So these are more filters that you can uh, filter data. So if you wanted to look across all of your programs to clear that filter, you just click on that um, the filter button here. It takes it back to the normal view. And if you only wanted to look at your data by the focus, you could then click that way and say, well, I just want to look across uh, my leadership teams focus. And then once you click that, it will show you um, the same data, but it's only looking at data where you selected that your focus was leadership team. And then to clear that, then you would just click there to clear the filter. If you want to select more than one option, you can select these little um, check marks with the line. It's called multi-select. You click there, and then so since everything starts off highlighted, when you click it, what it's going to do is it's going to unhighlight it. So if I wanted to look at um, just practitioner, coach, and program administrator, then that would be unhighlighted. But if I wanted to select behavior specialist and data coordinator, then I can highlight those. If I want to go back to my original view, then I just click my uh, to clear the filters. The coach summary gives you um, the summary of all of the data that's been entered across all of your programs. So here you'll see all of your program IDs, um, the total time, average time, total number of contacts, and then your graph. You have the focus, again, that's across all of your programs and your graph. And then um, down at the bottom you have the delivery method and activity. So if you wanted here you could do the same thing like we did on the other side if you wanted to look across all of your programs but only look at um, data coordinator then you can click that and then it'll give you these two tables and these two graphs. Um, they work in conjunction with these two filters. So these two up here won't change but these two down here will, based on any selections you make here. So to go back to your original view, then you just clear the filter there. If your, t your graph, if you have a lot of different activities and you see that they're just running all together and difficult to read, then you'll just click on the chart itself and then go down to a corner and you can drag it across, make it uh, wider or taller, however it is that you need in order to fit your data um, in the way that you want it to, to display it. So that is how you can do that. Again, if you have any issues, if you have any questions or run into something not functioning, um, my email is here on the instruction tab. And feel free to uh, send me an email and let me know what kind of issue that you're having.